welcome back to Wicked Wands Tarot. My name is Carmen, and today we're going to do a reading for Gemini. Let's call in spirit with some wind chime time. Surprise, surprise, I have a new deck, you guys. <laughs> so I hope you have something that brings you as much joy as a new deck of tarot cards brings me. But these are pretty fucking cool. I'm trying to find a good one. Okay. So like, based on the writer weight in terms of what they um, actually have for art, and then there's this like cool like holographic shit or whatever. Super trippy. But they're also really slippery, so forgive me if I throw them all over the place. And they also have a little bit of a weird noise. <laughs> so, anyways, hope you're doing well, Gemini. Thank you to everyone for the subscribes, the likes, the comments. I love that shit, so thank you. Okay, Gemini, let's see what we got for you. Hmm. Someone is feeling heartbroken and can't get over a situation that happened with somebody they're at a distance from. Somebody who, in general, the only communication is by like DM or text message. So this could be somebody who lives like at quite a distance, or this could just be somebody who's like busy, busy beaver. <laughs> but here's the three of swords and the five of cups. <laughs> Sorry. Um, just laughing, not at that situation, but because of how silly I am about the cards art. Here's the Page of Swords. So for some of you out there, not all of you, of course, because this is general, I'm noticing that this like grouping of trees looks like the letter F. So for some of you, we are talking about somebody in this situation, you know, literally three, there's three people that are important to the situation. And the F letter could be the initial, um, the first name initial or the last name initial. But I see the letter F for some of you. Could also just be somebody going, We also have the Ace of Wands and the King of Pentacles. There's someone who, a masculine energy here, who is trying to have a new beginning. With the Ace of Wands, there's almost like, I'm getting the feeling that this King of Pentacles felt like this situation that caused heartbreak here in the past was as a result of the wrong timing. But now there's like another chance coming around. Let's say, I don't know, for some reason I have How I Met Your Mother going through my head, you know, like that situation where people are like waiting for both parties to be single. It's almost like this masculine energy here has been like waiting and watching for a change of relationship status on somebody's like Facebook so that he can swoop in. Seven of Swords. I got it in the reverse and I think that's how it's supposed to be. I think what this is saying is this masculine energy might have been kind of like unwilling to hold hands in public or doesn't like talking about his feelings and there's something that's shifted here almost just like a we might see the king of wands come out later because what i'm getting here gemini is there's somebody here who is not fucking around anymore like they're not going to move in silence they're going to let everybody know like this is what i'm doing nobody fuck with it kind of thing <laughs> like no sneakiness at all Quite the collection. Hmm. 
Gemini, the other two people that we have besides this King of Pentacles would be the Emperor and the Queen of Cups. This is telling me that there is a feminine energy here who is very well beloved. She is kind and caring and intuitive and the kind of person that people really enjoy being in her energy, like restorative or healing energy. And this Queen of Cups, I don't get the impression Wait a second, did they come in the reverse? I think they came in the reverse, you guys. All right, let's think about this now. This changes the order. Now we have the Queen of Cups under the Five of Cups and the Emperor, both in the reverse, of course, under the Three of Swords. Okay, so we might have had an emotionally manipulative female, feminine energy. We all have feminine and masculine energy, you guys. I'm sorry. I, I feel like I should say it every video, but I also don't want to say it every video. Like, I could come out as the King of Pentacles or my brother could come out as the Queen of Cups. Doesn't matter. Um, we just have to identify the energies here. And this is telling me that the Queen of Cups is perhaps depressed or really struggling with regards to this situation that broke her heart. And she could have also broken someone else's heart or kind of like kicked that down the street, if you know what I mean, um, because of how broken hearted she was. And then when we have the emperor here in the reverse, clarifying the three of swords, I'm getting the energy that we have a masculine energy that was really selfish. Um, the emperor is considered the most powerful man or masculine energy in the deck, right? So I get the feeling with this in the reverse that the issues that this emperor character has, emperor in the reverse, all seem to stem from issues he has with regards to feeling empowered. So let's say this guy has like a really overbearing mom. Um, maybe he hates women so he mistre mistreats them because he always felt like his mom never let him like actually do his shit. Um, tune in later for my serial killer special. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> but really though, we have somebody here who I think didn't give a fuck about whose hearts were broken because all he thought about was himself. Continuing on, we've got two other cards here that fell out for us. We've got the King of Cups and the Four of Wands. I think we actually need these to be flipped around. Yeah. So this guy, this guy's feeling a little bit uh, uncomfortable with his emotions. Look at that facial expression. I don't know if you can see it, you guys. But he's like, <laughs> like side-eyeing almost, which I feel like really does kind of hit home or like confirm for us that we have somebody who's maybe doing some like spying on the interwebs or just in general kind of like feeling concerned. This King of Cups, this King of Cups is the King of Pentacles. I don't think that this is the, the emperor. The emperor is an asshole. This king of cups, I feel like, has remorse and knows that he should have done something better. And I think it feels like he has a chance to offer redemption here to the situation and make things right. So it's like, he's, this King of Cups, King of Pentacles guy is like the real MVP of this story because like <laughs> everyone else is kind of an a-hole. So we have the Temperance card coming out to clarify the King of Pentacles. Yes, this makes sense. So this is, this is telling me that this masculine energy, this 
King of Pentacles has actually done the healing work that he needed to. <laughs> I was just going to say. So we might see <laughs> the star or the four of swords come out. This has healing all over it, you guys, because we've got somebody here who has taken time to be by themselves, right? Four of swords. And with the temperance card, the reason that her toe is actually in the water there, that's supposed to denote, like, this is somebody who feels comfortable with their emotions, but also that water represents healing. So somebody who is capable of like healing themselves, basically. So this King of Pentacles figured out what the situation called for in terms of healing. And as a result, now I think we have karma coming and we've got judgment falling under the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So let's say this was a cheating scenario and the King of Cups or King of Pentacles was cheated on by the Queen of Cups and the Emperor in the reverse. He has now learned his lesson, figured out what he actually wants, and he's going to do that without any remorse or any like hesitation because he knows it's what he wants. And he's, I think, because he's done the uh, healing work here, he's going to have redemption because we've got the Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands coming out next to the King of Cups and next to the King of Pentacles. So this energy has figured his shit out. Good work, dude. Proud of you. Shut up. <laughs> huh. Okay. Oh, I love this card. So what I'm looking at specifically is that top, like, center part of the card where the background, it looks like you can just like see the connection this Pope-like dude has to God, right? Like this is somebody who is understanding of basic things like compassion and forgiveness. This is clarifying the emperor in reverse and the heartbreak. This is telling me that we've got Basically, a judgment call being made on a relationship, on this emperor. This emperor in reverse is likely going to be seeing some pretty, if he isn't already, some pretty rough karma, as is the feminine energy. And this judgment card next to the hierophant could also be saying that we've got somebody here who has changed their perspective on the actual concept of being in a relationship or on marriage. Tell me more about this King of Cups, please. <laughs> These cards are so slippery, you guys. I can't handle it. <laughs> All right, we've got the next card is the Page of Wands, clarifying the King of Cups. And this is saying... We're going to get some good news here for this King of Cups. So if you uh, identify with this King of Cups character, Gemini, then you've got some good news coming in. We've got the Two of Swords coming out to clarify. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure I ordered that right. We'll see. I think there's actually a chance this Page of Wands is meant to clarify the Four of Wands because we've got redemption and, and good news tied up here. But with this Two of Swords, this is about feeling stagnant or not really knowing which direction to go. So it could be, Gemini, that this person here who's about to get some good karma, they're going to have some choices, right? Like you might find, oh, I've been looking for a job for six months, but I couldn't find anything. You went through this garbage, and then now the universe is like, how about four jobs? Which one do you want? <laughs> we have 
an end to the cycle of feeling like you are always being attacked or like you have to defend yourself. The wounded warrior is somebody who has been through a lot, okay? Um, this is somebody who maybe doesn't have a lot left in them in terms of being able to refill that cup and, and do their own healing, but the universe is saying we have an end here to the suffering. You're about to put down these burdens and things are going to get better. So I hope you enjoyed your reading today, Gemini, and that you have a wonderful rest of your day.